Marion has asked a question on the tropisms tutorial from the Ultimate Guide to A-Level Biology. She asked, explain or why does indoleacetic acid, IAA, move to the shaded side of the root or shoot in phototropism? Okay, well the good news, Marion, is you don't need to know anything about the mechanism. Why does it? Because it regulates the process that maintains the plant in a favourable environment, would be sort of the exam speak answer. How it, that process works, you don't need to know. And... So let's imagine we've got our root growing horizontally and the light is coming from the top. You would imagine the, let's say the IAA is broken down by light. I don't know if that's true, but we can imagine it that way. So only the IAA is gonna be in the lower half, the shaded side. In roots, this is gonna inhibit cell division and cell growth. And that means the top side is gonna grow faster than the bottom side. And so it's gonna grow over and is grow down away from the light. Obviously the thing to remember in shoots is that it's completely the opposite. We've got a horizontal shoot. The, the light lands here, the IAA moves to the shaded side, but that is gonna promote cell elongation. You have to be a little bit careful not to say cell division because the cells aren't technically dividing. So the bottom is gonna grow faster. It's gonna to grow towards the light. That's the simple mechanics of it why it maintains the plant in a favorable conditions. Obviously shoots want to be in light for photosynthesis, jam in as many of those key terms as you can. Roots want to be underground to absorb nutrients by, generally they're going to be absorbing by active transport or osmosis or facilitated diffusion. And that's going to help the plant absorb the nutrients it needs to grow. So I hope that answers your question. If you do have any other questions, I'm going to be selecting some really nice questions which I can explain verbally and been creating some more content for you guys this way. Let me know what you think in the comments below. See you soon.